Hi, my name is Julie Lenley. I'm currently an MYP design teacher and middle school technology coordinator at an international school in Japan. This video reflects on the unit I chose to showcase and what I learned this past year and a half in Coattail and how I'm enhancing student learning at my school and throughout our community. When I first started planning for my final project for Coattail, the Certificate of Educational Technology and Information Literacy, I planned to take our newly created responsible use policy and make it more than just words on paper. I created this document with Katie and Ju, fellow co-tellers last year, and I wanted our community to embody the IB learner attributes when they use their technology. While I feel I made a lot of progress on the responsible use policy implementation at my school, I want to share with you the Honor the Creator unit, which was a part of this final product. I feel like this unit demonstrates the coattail effect and what this professional development opportunity has done for teaching and learning for so many people and students. This unit was created for grade 7 students. I taught this unit last year as well, but before we had course 3 of Coattail, which focuses on visual literacy and mixing media. Last year's unit went well. Some students created decent book trailers, and the students' book trailers were displayed in the library. A few students contacted authors through Twitter and shared their final videos, so there was some real-life connections, but I knew this wasn't the project for my current 7th graders, and I knew I could take this project further. I'm going to be honest here. My current 7th graders challenge me. I don't mean this in a bad way. The past few projects I've done with them have been fine, but the initiative and the quality of their final products has varied greatly. I thought if I made book trailers with them again this year, it was not going to inspire them. I asked myself, so what? So what if they make a book trailer? It's for me. It's for a grade. So I started thinking about it, and for the past few, few months as the unit was approaching, it was always in the back of my mind. I knew I wanted to have a unit on using media appropriately again, but I knew I had to change this unit. And over winter break, I read an article from NPR on the best music videos of 2013, and I had that aha moment. My students watched tons of videos on YouTube, and they're really into music, and a new project was born. The task for this unit was to create a music video showing their knowledge of copyright, fair use, and or creative commons. This allowed students to use a variety of media and allowed them to follow their interests and passions as they designed their own music videos. For skills, I wanted students to know how to create a detailed storyboard, improve their iMovie editing skills, and to understand how to search for and use appropriate media and what creative commons licenses meant. The final assessment task for this unit was the music video. Students also accompanied this video with a design folder, which was a written Google Doc that documented their design cycle process in creating this video. As far as differentiation, um, I have a teacher learning goal this year for to use more differentiation in my classes, and I did two pre-assessments with the students. One is this design challenge here, and this allowed me to go around and watch students and how they created uh, videos and it was really great and it actually helped guide my mini lessons and helped put kids into groups to to see what skills they needed to create a high quality video. I also on the first day of class gave them an entrance card asking them what they knew about copyright, fair use, and creative commons and I also gave them the exact same questions on the last day of the unit. While I did see a lot of growth in in the responses, and you can see the responses on my blog, um, I did note they weren't as high as I wanted them to be, and I did know, do note that while kids did create their movies appropriately, that they need to more to learn how to use the, the language better and to better describe what they're able to do and how to use media. Technology definitely enhanced the learning experience for my students. Here is a clip from the last day of the unit uh, with me talking about Creative Commons license for my students. For the 19 pencils? Okay. Shall I use? Okay, so your project should be done today. check sheet of what I want you to go through today. Okay, so now that your post is done, okay, or your video is 
done. You are, okay, congratulations, you're a creator. You are a creator, so now you need to decide what are you going to do with your video. Okay? First question you need to ask yourself, how do you want to share it? Do you want to post your video as a Creative Commons video? Do you want people to be able to take it and remix it? Or take it and maybe repost it somewhere? Are you giving people permission to do that? Okay? This is totally up to you. Okay? But I do want you to think about all the media that you use and maybe repost and things like that. Okay, so on my blog, if you go, if you do want to do it, and again, this is optional, see this add a license link, you can go to Creative Commons and then you can make your own license. So, do you want people to adapt it or do you want people, if they're going to use it, to use it exactly the way it is? Okay, that's, you can see as you change these, it changes what your license will look like. Okay? Okay? One thing, I definitely, I, this is up to you, but I think you probably don't want to do it, is that people can actually use it for commercial reasons. You want people to make money off of your project, all your hard work, that's what it is. I will be done. Okay? Do you want to make people share a like? Okay? Do you want, again, and this is something, do you want them to be able to adapt to them? And you can see it's, it's changing this license, which is, this is going to be the actual license down here. Now, if you want to add to this, you can put in, say I put in, um, pop mashup 2014, you'll see it put in the title here. If I want to actually add my name to my license, you can see it added it there. Okay? Now down here is the HTML. This is for a website, so this won't work like necessarily in your video or even on YouTube. Okay? So what I suggest you do is to do, do a screenshot, and again, make sure it's kind of centered and looks nice, like that. And then you can decide, you can put that on the last slide of your video. Okay? You can put that on the about of your Creative Commons. You can actually indicate on YouTube that you want this to be a Creative Commons video. Okay, some of you use Creative Commons videos in YouTube, and then people can remix it. Okay. So that's your kind of your first thing. You need to decide how do you want people to really use it or not. Okay. I think students' learning was definitely enhanced by technology. Uh, in the screen right here, you can see a Google form that they used to get feedback on their on their movies. Students were required to get at least ten people to get to get feedback as part of the design cycle evaluation um, and I wanted them to get objective feedback. Um, I think all the tools used, whether it was YouTube and iMovie and Google Forms and Google Apps, they helped students create a high quality product and there were also products that they'll use in the future for other classes and in real life. Students were able to connect with people outside of our classroom by different guests. We had to either Skype in or talk to the class, and also by posting their final products on their blog. This allowed their classmates and families to see their final product, and it was a great way for the kids to show off what they learned and to show off some really great final products. Here's another example of student work. Uh, this was his just rationale for the assignment and his explanation of how he honored the creator. Um, I've created links to different student blogs on my blog if you want to go and look at different examples. I think because I reworked this whole unit, students were able to show a lot of initiative and show their creativity. <clears throat> it's super important to know your students and know, you know what will engage them and what will make them excited to learn and to work and some of these students in the past have struggled with staying focused and turning in high quality products and in this unit they were super engaged and they asked so many questions and so many what ifs and asked things outside of class or videos they had seen online and that's when I know I really connected with the students and then looking at their final products and they were so proud and shared with other people on their own and I was able to connect with real world designers and musicians to find out what they thought about Creative Commons and fair use and so the kids were really able to connect this unit with, with the world and a lot of them did create Creative Commons licenses for their blogs and for their movies which you know was really great and that was a, an option they had definitely wasn't a forced um, part of their assignment so in the end this was a really great unit that I plan to do in the future and um, I'll link all the resources on my blog thank you